Here's a look at how to save a current course or an archived course in Schoology to your personal resources so that you'll have it ready to load into a new course that's formed at the beginning of the school year. So first, let's take a look at how to access your course archive and how to save a course that has been archived to your personal resources. So to do that, go to Courses at the top of your Schoology screen and click the link to See All in the bottom right-hand corner of the drop-down menu. Next, click on the link for Archived. Here you'll see all of your archived courses from any time you've ever used Schoology. So you can scroll down as far as you need to. There are multiple pages. To access any of these archived courses, just click on any of the links for the section number. Let's go into this Mr. Rossman's course, Section 1. Once I click that link, I am entered into this course. I can now click the Options button here on the main materials page of this course and then there's an option to save the course to resources. So I'll go ahead and do that. This screen is just asking me where I want to save it within my res personal resources. So if you have a separate folder or you can just dump it in there, it doesn't matter. I would recommend some sort of organization so you know a little bit more about where it's going. All right, so let's just go ahead and hit submit. I just put it into my personal resources for the sake of time. All right, you can also do that to a current course that you have. So to do that, just go to your courses menu, go into any course that you have that's currently active. And again, just hit the options button and you'll see an option to save the course to resources. It does the same exact thing. So now that you have those courses saved over to your resources, here's what you need to know about restoring them. All right, so over the summer, once your new courses are created for you from Sapphire to Schoology, you'll notice them within your courses drop-down menu. But once you go in them, you'll see pretty quickly that there's nothing inside of them. You'll see this empty course screen like this. When the courses are created for you, it's just a placeholder. It's a shell of a course that has the title and the ability for you to add stuff to it. You don't need to recreate everything, obviously. That's why we saved your archived courses to your personal resources. So here's a look at how to bring something that you put in your resources to one of your new courses. Just click the Add Materials button within whatever course you're trying to load and choose the option to Import from Resources. This, this window here shows you a snapshot of your personal resources where you'll see anything that you've ever saved. Newer things are on the bottom. So the courses that I previously saved to my personal resources from my archive and from anywhere else you'll see here. I want to kind of just give you a little word of advice here. If you just check this box and then tell it to import, you're going to import the folder containing your course, which means that students are going to have to access your course and then click a folder to get to your course. So you want to cut that step out. So I would recommend going into the course this way. Check this box to select everything within the course and then tell it to import. And you'll see here that when it loads the material into the course, it's not loading a folder, it's loading the actual course into it. So when students choose my course from the courses drop-down menu, they'll see all of the options and they won't have to click a folder again to get in there. All right, so you would repeat that for any of the courses that you have for each section, um, anything else that you need to do to get it ready. If you forgot to save anything to your personal resources, remember that you can always go back to your archive by clicking Course, See All, and once you're at the Course See All screen, you have to click the Archived button, and you can find the course that you need the material from to load into any of your, of your new courses. Thanks. If you have any questions, please contact Megan Hooper or myself, Ben Rossman. We'd be happy to help you out.